Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Essica map mod on a local PC DAISY server. So this is for the people out there who run a DAISY server on their local PC for exploring single player DAISY, maybe content creation, that sort of thing. Now if you haven't um, installed a DAISY server on your local PC, then uh, I'd recommend first watch my video how to install a local server on your PC for single player DAISY and mod testing. I'll put a link in the description down below. And I'll also put a link to how to install uh, CF and Zombie admin tools. Now that just applies to um, a remote server, but you do the similar sort of thing to install it on your local server so you have admin. Um, so, Essica, really nice big map. Um, it's a ongoing, um, ongoing mod as I'm recording this video, um, but it's it's definitely worth looking at, very popular at the moment on PC. So the first thing, obviously you wanna fire up Steam and you wanna to subscribe to the mod, okay? And that will then download the mod to your local PC. Then what we need to do is we need to find out, you know, where that mod is and then copy it into, into your, um, into your server folder. So if you're not quite sure how to do that, let me show you how. What you want to do is fire up Daisy. You know, you normally go into the, the launcher, won't you? It normally starts there, doesn't it? Go into your mods and find the Essica mod. All right. Um, and then what you want to do is you'll want to click on this little arrow here. Click on this little three dots here. And see, it says open folder in Windows Explorer. Then it will warn you. So be careful. Don't mess around with anything like this. If you do, you'll break the game. So you say, okay, I understand. And it will fire up. So we've now jumped inside the Daisy, uh, your Daisy game folders on, on your PC. And and then it jumps into the uh, the mods folder, which is actually called Daisy Workshop. Um, that's what it's called. So on my PC, it's C, Program Files, XA6, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy Workshops. And what we're interested in is the Essica uh, mod there. So you'd find that and you'd right click that and you'd, you'd copy that. Now, generally, when you have uh, the uh, Daisy mod, um, the Daisy server installed, it'll be in the same folder as your Daisy game. So here's Daisy server, as you can see. So we click in that and then we just paste Essica into the directory, the first directory here. So there it is. So there, there's Essica. I've already done it here. Now, what we need to do next is we need to take the mission files, excuse me, out of this and put them into the missions files for our server. So we go into Essica, and very nicely, they're they're labelled there MP mission. So you double click on that, and there's empty .essica. So you'd right click, and you copy that, and then you go up, and then we want to go into the MP missions folder on your server. So you click on that, and then you right click paste. If I'd copied it, and they you'd end up with empty.essica there. So if we go into it, we can see we've got all the types, the XMLs, the CFG spawnable types, all that, all that good stuff is there. Okay, so we've got we've got the bones of, of what we need, but now we need to be able to tell the server, look, I want you when you start, I want you to start with the Essica mod. And then we also need to tell the server which mission to use. So first we're gonna edit the batch file. Again, I'll refer you back to my previous video if you're not sure about this, how to install a local server. But the, the batch file is the file that um, uh, tells tell the server how, how to start. Um, so my one's here. Now I start my server with Zombri, uh, CF and Zombri admin tool. So you wanna open that in your favorite um, text editor i use notepad plus plus so here it is and again if you've installed your your own private server you'll be familiar with this so your, your batch file might look a little bit different but if we go down to the start parameter here if we scroll over a bit oop, where it says here we go profiles config there we go so we've got these three so we've got uh, dash mod equals at CF, uh, semicolon, at Zombri admin tools, semicolon. And you can see we've added in at Essica. Now, if you're not quite sure about the spelling of it, what you can do is you can just click uh, at Essica once, left click it, click it again, and then you can right click the 
copy on there so you're getting the right spelling so that when you go into a batch file you can just gently paste it in there after CF and in my case Zombri admin tools and I paste that in there and then you want to save that so what that does is what this file does is when the server starts it says look look for um, the daisy server file and I want you to start with the community framework mod or the CF mod the Zombri admin tools and the Essica mod however we've still got another job to do what we need to do is we need to uh, edit the config file for the for the server to tell it which missions folder to look in you know for you know, that sort of stuff um, and in my server it's called the server dz.cfg so what we do is we would edit that with notepad plus plus so here it is and then if you scroll down you get this bit here class missions so class mission class DZ template equals and your one probably says something like um, template equals um, daisy offline dot as plus but we want to put empty dot essica in there and again if you're not sure about the spelling if you go into the missions and then gently left click that and then right click and copy the name there you can then go in and then you can paste that over there now don't worry you've got it gives you the vanilla missions underneath anyway to, to paste them back in so template equals empty dot essica so we save that we're almost ready to go <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing we need to do is is do the keys so the keys are I guess that they, they kind of make sure that the game that you're playing so Daisy the Daisy game and the Daisy server are singing from the same hymn sheet and you, you do that with the key so if we go into the Essica mod again go into the keys and right click and copy Essica 0.5 dot by key and go back go back and then go into the keys folder on the server and right click uh, paste there if I paste it you see Eska 0.5.by key and that my friends <laughs> is it so what you should be able to do now is just double click on your batch file so start zombie admin in my particular case so that will fire up and then we can go into daisy um, Make sure that you've got the right mods loaded up. So I've got Essica, Community Framework, and Zombie Admin Tools fired up. Go into your servers. Go into LAN. Click on it. Join. Set up DLC mods and join. This is where this isn't going to work now, isn't it? After I've done all this. <laughs> I've forgotten something. But let's see. Let's let it fire up. And then you can explore. And the beauty with... If you're wondering, well, what is a local server... Um, the beauty of running a local server is that it's a, it's a single player instance of DayZ that you can save. Now there is community offline mode that you can use, that you can wander around and create content and um, and explore, but you can't save anything. If you run a local server, you can save your um, save your progress, which is pretty cool. It does have a performance hit on your PC though, because imagine you, not only you're, not only are you playing. Daisy, so your computer's trying to play Daisy. It's also running a server. However, as there's only you on that server, it's normally not normally not too bad. Um, right, here we go. Now you've got to remember that I am capturing this using OBS on my old laptop. Um, I'm basically using a Shadow Cloud gaming PC, so this may well be a little bit jerky. And it may what the screen may well freeze as well. So apologies if that happens because um, it's not very good at capturing gameplay. My uh, my old laptop. Um, but uh, but yeah, and it's a really cool way of uh, I, I find it you know exploring, but also making content in terms of um, w when you make yourself uh, an admin with uh, godlike powers, you can spawn in anything you want in the game. Um, you know, so you can practice building, you can do videos about um, how to how to use weapons, you can spawn in zombies, you can spawn in all, all sorts of cool stuff. It's uh, it is a lot of fun, and uh, there we go. So, oop, let me just lock this. Right, I'm going to do this slow because this is probably very, very jerky. But let me turn on God mode. Turn on free cam. And let us rise above Essica. So what, what town are we at? That is, what's it called? Essica Industrial Zone, right? 
Looks fabulous, doesn't it? Looks really good. Again, apologies if this is jerky and isn't working very well. So there we go. That's uh, how you install Essica on your local PC DAISY server. Hopefully it's been useful. If this video has been, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Um, put your questions and comments down below. And of course, I will see you again soon.